Okay, use the discriminant to determine the number and type of solutions of the equation. Well, the discriminant in the quadratic equation formula is the b squared minus 4ac. So, here's how it works. Right, let's try b squared minus 4ac on this here. Right, b squared, so that is negative 6 squared minus 4, lots of a, a is going to be 1, and c is going to be 5, okay? Right, that'll give us 36, take away 20, which is 16. But the whole point of this is I've got a positive answer. So I can square root a positive answer, because remember b squared minus 4ac is inside the radical. So because I can square root a positive answer, and I have plus and minus, of course, I will get two real solutions, okay, for this particular problem. The discriminant is telling me I get two real solutions. If I do b squared minus 4ac here, right, negative 12 squared minus 4 lots of, right, 1, and c is 36. So I get 144 minus 144, that equals 0. Now again, if we say plus and minus the square root of 0, well that is just one solution of 0. So this is one real solution, because if I square root of 0, I'll just get 0, okay? If I say square root of 4, I'll get plus and minus 2, okay? Which is two real solutions. This is one real solution. Finally, b squared minus 4ac here. Right, negative 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1, and c is 8. So it'll give me 9, take away 32. So this will give me negative 23. But it doesn't really matter because it is negative. Now, of course, if I try to square root a negative number, I will get 2 complex, okay, the imaginary ones with i, complex, two complex solutions, okay, and there you go. That's just using the discriminant to determine the number and type of solutions of the equation.